got two Patriots on one side, Bucks on the other. It's a big night. A, it's a huge night here outside of the stadium. We spoke with a lot of fans throughout the day showing just a lot of excitement. Tom Brady coming back here as a New England Patriot. And that's something we didn't think that we were going to hear. Tom Brady leaving Tampa back in 2020, but he's returning tonight to be inducted into Patriots Hall of Fame, a moment that many fans have been Await, have been waiting for a lot of diehard fans. We've been outside of the stadium all night right now, just talking with Patriots fans, seeing what do people think. Tom's back in town, and a lot of people are saying, "All right, I want to see something fun tonight. I want to see maybe a bronze statue come out here in Patriots Place. Even see Tom Brady get inducted into, um, or rather, he's getting inducted, but see Brady's his number get retired. Even see Robert Kraft maybe bring out a piece of paper and have Tom Brady sign." that one day contract to retire as a New England Patriot. So a lot of excitement. The New England Patriots getting ready to welcome back Tom Brady. Live in Foxborough, John Perrick, NBC 10 News. There you go. <laughs> I wasn't invited to the party, uh, so I just want to get down here and tell you something. We're all so excited to be back in Boston this week. And I thought it would be fun to look back at all those amazing years as a Patriot. Six Tom Brady's six. children making this really sweet video for him ahead of tonight's ceremony. Jack, Benjamin, and Vivian take a walk down memory lane to talk about his six Super Bowl titles and 20 years in New England. And we're gonna let you know, we wanna get back to John Perrick and his story. We are having a little bit of a technical challenge here, but we are back on track. Wow, the kids made the video, hire them. Yeah, they're precious. If you didn't get a ticket to tonight's event, you can still watch it. The ceremony starts tonight at 7 p.m. and it will be streaming on patriots.com and on the team's social media accounts. And we'll have the highlights tonight on the NBC 10 News Night Team at 11. The other stories we're tracking, the man charged it. Deadly, excuse me. Yeah, filtering's off here. <laughs> but the man started a deadly stabbing and cumbled his hell without bail tonight. Robert Perry accused of stabbing Otis Diggs on Front Street last year. Police say the two were in an altercation before the murder happened. He pleaded not guilty. The lead investigator in the Karen Reed murder trial is done testifying. The testimony from Massachusetts State Trooper Michael Proctor was explosive. He talked about more inappropriate text messages sent about the event. And the Karen Reed is accused of killing her Boston police officer boyfriend, John O'Keefe, by hitting him with her car. You'll hear some of today's testimony coming up at six. Families living in migrant shelters in Massachusetts will start receiving letters about leaving starting next month. Some families will have a deadline to move out by September 29th. <laughs> that will be when they reach the nine month cap. The letter will also say whether or not that they are eligible for an extension. About 150 families will get those notices <clears throat> starting next month. I thank God that I'm, I'm alive because I think he gave me Another opportunity because if that day I would hit my side, I wouldn't be here. Wow, a ripped a driver hailed a hero. The transit agency CEO has high praise for the man behind the wheel when a deer jumped into his bus. Yeah, this video has gone viral. It really is shocking. NBC 10's Gabrielle Crocciolo live in Warwick after speaking with them both. What a story, Gabrielle. Yeah,